Hello and welcome to typeform.com. Uh, this is a very powerful tool and I learned about uh, typeform last week from one of my students and I really like it better than uh, SurveyMonkey and Google Forms and you'll see why in a couple of minutes. So I already have an account. I'm going to quickly log in and click on the plus to create a new type form and uh, we have the option to use it use uh, a template or start from scratch for now we need to just start my own form from scratch i can name it let's say test one and uh, you will see uh, type form creates beautiful forms uh, very nice looking and it's very easy to use okay so i need to start with the welcome screen we can either drag and drop or double click so we already have the text, welcome text goes here, and uh, start, uh, we can have up to 19 characters in the button. I'm going to just click save and add my first question. Short text, we can use this, let's say, for just asking uh, the user to enter his name. So enter your name. We don't have to actually add a button because as soon as we start typing, there is a button here added. But uh, maybe I can just use required field so this is going to be a mandatory field click on save then uh let's say next question i can just ask a multiple choice question for example uh, i can just say uh, what type of device uh, do you use to access this course or we can say maybe this video or this tutorial and so on uh, so we can have description here uh, choices for example I just add let's say for laptop desktop tablet and maybe smartphone and uh, we have option also to add image for all these options, but uh, I'm going to show you that that's already in one of the templates. Uh, randomize, I would use this only this time. And uh, uh, we can, right with that, we can just have always these options to be randomly in random order. And then I'm going to click save. Uh, so we can add yes, no questions, we can add rating and so on. So let's just finish this uh, part of the tutorial with rating. So uh, what I'm going to do here, just a uh, question will be, let's say, please create type form. By default, we have out of three. I can change this, let's say, to be out of five, or all the way to out of ten. And we have starts by default, but I can also change this to, let's say, hearts, for example, or something else. Uh, we also have the option to add a variable. With adding a variable, this is just like uh, conditional questions, like if statement in programming. So based maybe on some other question that we already asked previously, based on that answers, we might ask different questions based on the previous answer. But for now, I'm going to skip that. I'll just click save and right we can now continue adding more questions but in this tutorial i will just uh show you right so after you create the questions now you can make it even look better so you can change the colors uh, choose a different font add background images and so on and then uh, for sharing it's very simple once you click share now we can share it on facebook twitter google plus and so on and uh, also we can just copy so this is already saved and it's already now in my clipboard uh, so i'll just go back now uh, and maybe just create another one right so this is my test one that i just created and this is one uh, my first uh, type form that i created just for fun and i just want to show you how you can analyze your results so just by clicking on the analyze button, first one is the uh, basic one. So as you can see, I only did this twice so far, two unique visits, and uh, I was using my laptop all the time. And yes, I did response only one time. So you can see you have a breakdown by right PCs, laptops, tablets, smartphones, uh, time to complete, and so on. 
Also, we can download these results easily, right? If you have more than one, like in this case, just by clicking on the download button and then uh, into Excel file and then analyze it further. Uh, I can also delete some of the rows. Let's say if I, so it's just my uh, mock uh, answers. I can just click on delete and delete this row and so on. But let's go back uh, just to finish this tutorial by let's say using a te template. So to use a template, uh, there are different types. Uh, there are many registration forms, uh, surveys, uh, questionnaires, uh, job application forms. Uh, there's, you can also filter this so instead of uh, scrolling down and finding something we like. Maybe let's say for teachers, this one would be useful to create an online quiz. So quizzes, and they already have six of them here. Some of these are free to use because uh, right for to use type form. Uh, there is also a paid version. For example, as you can see, this is the pro. So for the math quiz, this is already created for us. And even though this is a paid version, we can still use it as long as we don't publish it uh, publicly, right? As long as we want to use it as private, we can use it. And if you like it, then we can pay. So uh, I'm going to click here. And let's see, I mean, to just maybe answer just one question. So name is Marian. And Okay, I'm ready. So here's my first question. Two green goals, five yellow goals. That replacement. Okay, second one is yellow. That would be five over six. And in this case, we have a feedback right away, but uh, I already tried some of the other quizzes and uh, you don't have to show the answer now. Uh, this would be maybe good for a review for students, but uh, we can, uh, if it's an actual quiz, I wouldn't give them answers right here. So uh, if you like this, you can just click here. But again, this is a paid version, so we cannot do this. I'm going to go back uh, and maybe just let's just show another template here. So I know, let's say sign up ship. I used to be a basketball coach, so this would be really useful for instead of using sign up ship on paper and just uh, maybe create QR code and then the students would go to our form and they can easily use their phones to sign up. So again, usually the first question is what is your name? So once we enter the name, last name and so on, uh, then email address if you want to contact the players or some other information. So again, in this case, if I try to enter only this because this is not an actual email address it's not going to be valid so we have to actually enter email address and then let's say this is a basketball specific question we can just uh, let's say uh, i'm a point guard or a shooting guard and then by clicking ok we can just answer some other questions here and then sign up for tryouts and we are done